Okay, you guys, we have about six pounds to go. Last week, we opened up a like 14 pound lot of jewelry I had purchased at a flea market. We're going to finish it today. So here are the ordering instructions in case you would like to purchase anything from the video. Um, it will be a number video, so make sure you just give the number of the item in your email. All the rest of the information is here. Today is a new week, so I can hold your items for the week. You just have to let me know. Otherwise, I will add shipping and ship. Okay, so let's grab a handful and keep it moving. Hopefully, I think we're definitely going to be able to get through all this today. We did about seven pounds yes, uh, last week. All right, I did see this huge chunky chain. Look at this thing, hold on. Let me get move all this back. This, I don't know what this is, but this is huge. Let me see, let me try to figure this out. I'm thinking it's a belt. Yeah, okay, so let me, okay, so it goes, goes like, like this. I'm gonna back out so you guys can see this. I know I'm like off the edge here. So there it is. Here's the clasp. And then this kind of opens up to multi-chains and then you have the leaf. I mean, I think that's really, really cool. It is, it is heavy, it has some weight to it and there is a little bit of discoloration. But this is awesome. I don't think that it has a maker mark. I'm going to attempt to measure it. So the longest is 40 inches. 40 inches, and obviously you can clasp it shorter if you need to. Um, I think this would be really pretty since this is the fall with like a nice like sweater dress or something. It is very chunky and it has weight to it. So just keep in mind, and there is a little bit of gold tone loss, but it's not bad. I think, you know, it looks, it makes it look vintage. Okay, so this is going to be number one. I don't even have a bag. I'm gonna have to put that in like a freezer bag or something. That is, a very large item. I don't even have any bags that big over here, so I'll just have to keep it on the side. Um, we're gonna do the belt, we'll call this a belt, as number one, and we'll just do it for 10 bucks. All right, so number one, $10. Oh, and I need to get, you know what, I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna get some baggies for Craft continue. Blocks. These looked really pretty. These almost, these are giving me like Lily Pulitzer vibes. I don't think it's a Lily Pulitzer, but let me just look. No, I don't see any markings, but it's a little set. Let's make sure all the rhinestones are here. Yes. All right. It does un um, untie so you can wear them separately if you wanted. Oh, wait, this one is kind of coming undone. All right, um, you don't have to wear that one. Let me see if I can get a measurement. So eight inches, and I'll just do a good deal. We'll do these for two bucks. So two on two, since that one is kind of unraveling. But the others look a-okay. And of course, a bag doesn't fit in this one either. All right. This one doesn't fit in a bag, I mean. All right, so we have 
this, but it's missing a rhinestone. So that will be the first item in our first craft lot. All right, this is actually really pretty. This is like almost a squared shape. It's got like a little bit of a edge on each side, which is really cool. And a nice big stone in the middle. Gold tone, this is really pretty. And it looks like it's in really good condition. This is eight inches. You know what, since this is right here, we'll pair these two together. So now you get a nice little stretchy with good stretch and the gold tone bangle. Number three, and we'll do both for five bucks. All right, I still have this little guy over here that we're hopefully gonna find his mate. This I'm gonna put into the craft lot. It's got a couple of, a couple of scratches all over it. This is pretty. So this is silver tone. I don't see a maker mark. I just see China in there, but it's got a little bit of gold tone right here. It looks kind of like rose gold actually. Um, clear rhinestones and it's a little key design clamper bracelet and it is six and a half inches it can fit probably seven and it will just uh stay open a little bit but it's in good shape otherwise and this is going to be number four and we'll do that one for five dollars Let's see what this is. This is a chunky chain by Sugar Fix. Sugar Fix. All right. So you got a nice thick gold tone chain. It does have some weight to it. It does look like it's in really good condition. It does have an extender. So let's see. I'm trying to lay it out flat here so we can get an accurate measurement. It can go from 19 to 22 inches. 19 to 22 inches for a Sugar Fix Chunky Chain, number five. And we're gonna do that one for five. Five on five. This one looks really pretty. Ooh, it does have a marking in there. What does that say? Oh, it's Noir. N-O-I-R. It's a pretty good brand. This is, um, I don't know if it's supposed to be bent like that. Not sure. But this is really pretty. It needs a cleanup. Let me see. I can get my little wipies over here. Just give it a little wipe down. Should be okay. Yeah. So that's really pretty. I love the pave rhinestone, like disco balls. Gorgeous. So this one, oops. All right, it does need to be cleaned in there a little bit. It looks like there's a little bit of gunk, but um, we're sitting at six and a half inches. Let's see how this looks on me. So I have a six inch wrist. So really nice. Um, brand is Noir Gold Tone with the Pave rhinestones. I'm just gonna sip of my coffee. Okay, and we will do that one. Um, we'll do it for five. So I'm not sure if that bend is supposed to be there. But Noir is a good brand. So number six for $5. Another, another one of these large clamber bracelets tied up with something else. So let me see if I can get this out. There's Dallas. <laughs> okay. This is actually really pretty, but it's got some discoloration. So that'll go into the craft lot. We have a chain link 
cuff bracelet. This has got some damage to it, so we're gonna put that in the craft lot. Maybe somebody can just bedazzle it with rhinestones and cover up all its damage. Same with this one. This is that enamel style bangle, like the last video. This is pretty. So this is gold tone. It's got a remnants of a tag on it, but no maker mark. That is really pretty. It's got like the open circles, the hammered, very nice. Again, the all these need to be wiped down. They have, it feels like a little bit of a dirty film on it. Um, seven and a half inch drop, and then you have a three inch extender. So that is gorgeous. Number seven. And I'm trying to find a smaller baggie. We will do that one for five dollars. Five dollars, number seven. All right, then we got this guy sitting over here. What are you? Okay, that's pretty. Let me fix that. So the, we have acrylic cabochons, kind of like a Y necklace. Very pretty colors. Looks like it's in good shape, just needs a little wipe down. Uh, no maker mark, but there is an extender. This one's seven inch drop with a two inch extender. That one's pretty, looks like everything is there. We'll do that one. Um, we'll do that one for $5 also. All right, that's, that was it for that handful. So let's grab some more. I do see a lot of repeated items. So I'm wondering if this flea market seller had like a store at one point, because there is multiples of some of these items. All right, this um, has some wear to it. I don't really like, I don't really think that's exactly wearable. So we're just gonna put that into the craft lot. We're gonna put these in there too. They're just not something I can, well, that one's missing one. That's actually missing two. Uh, so that'll go into the craft a lot. Well, maybe we'll do one more item in there and then we'll sell that one. Like probably this, cause that's not really in good shape and it's got a hair on it. This is definitely gonna go in the craft a lot. So we'll do these two. All right, so we have craft lot number one, and hopefully I won't forget about the last one like I always do. All right, so this is the sandwich bag, and this is craft lot number one for $5 because, like I said in the last video, these have a little bit of weight to them. All right, so the shipping is going to be a little bit more, so I'll keep it, keep the price low for you. All right, so we have, it looks like we have two of these here. Um, the, the, the enamel is kind of discolored. Um, I mean, this one looks better because see how this one in my left hand is very yellow. So the yellowed we will put into a craft lot. Start a new craft lot on that one. And then and then this one we can sell. It is coming in at a six and a half. Looks like it's in good shape, got all its rhinestones. It'll be number nine. And we'll just do that for $2. Two bucks, number nine. All right, let's get that out of here and this. This probably is gonna go into the craft lot because this has a lot of wear on the back. Um, I mean, it looks kind of good on the front. There is a little bit of discoloration. I mean, yeah, I mean, that comes off. 
So it's not terrible, but this is this is pretty big. This probably could be a men's bracelet. Yeah, well, it's eight inches. It's eight inches around. I can, I can sell it. We'll do a good deal on it because there is wear on the inside. But eight inches around. Gold tone with a little bit of wear. And um, hmm. we'll just do it for $4. Four bucks, number 10. Pretty cool unisex piece for sure. All right, that is going to go into craft. Oh, this one's pretty. This one's a little different from the ones we found last week, right? All right, so just a little bit of wear on the back. Not terrible. This one's coming in at a six. I would say probably maybe a five and three fourths since it's not exactly at the six. Very pretty. Um, we'll do this one. Uh, we'll do this one for $5. Right, let me just check again, make sure no stones were missing. Nope, we're good, good to go on that. And then I see another one right here. So this one was like the ones we found last week. And this one looks like it's in good shape also. So it is a size. I would maybe, oh no, actually it goes all the way down. So I would say five and a half on that. So this is the, the wider one, it's not domed. So this will be number 12, and we'll do this one for five also. We'll do the flower rings for five today. All right, let's see what this is. It's a little peacock. Let me just close that up so it doesn't hurt me. All right, pretty. I think all the stones are there. Beautiful green eye, clear stones, and then these have an AB coating on them. Very pretty. Gold tone, gorgeous. Number 13, five bucks. All right, let's look at this. All right, this is gonna go right into crafting because the gold tone on here is almost completely gone. So that'll go into the craft lot. We have a love two finger ring. Looks like it's in good shape. One fingy is six and three fourths and six. All right, so that will be number 14. We will do $3. All right. Ooh, this one looks pretty. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Let's test this one. So let's bring out Pressy. And do we test it for sterling? Wow, that cleaned up nice. Um, I don't see any marks. I don't know if it could be, but let's check. While Pressy warms up. No. Okay. That's all right. And glass. So not anything major, but it's still very pretty. Purple stone. 
It is a size nine. And it is going to be number 15. And let's do this one. Let's do this one for six bucks. <clears throat> All right, let's get rid of that garbage. This is an earring. But I don't know why it has like two discolored stones right there. So that'll go into craft. This is a funky ring. Look at that. Um, yeah, I'm going to put that in craft. This is a single earring, I guess we can say. That's a big one. This one, oops. Mm, we're going to put that in craft. That rhinestone is like not set in there, right? That's all scratched up, so that'll go in craft as well. As well that. Here's another one of these rings. Looks like all the stones are there. This one looks like it's in good shape. This one is a six and three fourths. Number 16 for $5. Ooh, is this sterling? <gasps> this might be bell trading. Yes. Yep, bell trading. That's the bell trading sign, if it will focus. But sterling and turquoise. Beautiful sawtooth edge. Um, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. There we go. Gorgeous. Love it. Six and three fourths. Number 17. 20 bucks. Love that. All right, this one looks cool over here. Look at this. There's a little bit of gold tone discoloration right on the edge over here, but otherwise, I mean, there's a little scratch. Yeah, there's a couple little scratches, but they're not major. This is a really cool faux pearl ring. It's coming in at uh, about six and three fourths. I will do a good deal on it since it has a few minor issues. We'll just do it for two bucks. Um, I have another. Oh no, we had that one over there already. That earring. Some stuff got mixed up and like. Sh made its way on that side. This will go into craft, it's not in good condition. That one as well. This is looks like it's just a, oh, did this come off that belt? Probably. I will look and I will add this to the belt. Yeah, that definitely had to come off the belt. All right, so I'll put that on it. Not sure where it came from, came off from, but I'll find it. This is a little um, gold tone, clear stone ring. This is actually really pretty. I would say it's a six. That is really pretty. Number 19, four bucks, $4, number 19. Oh, here's a little, a little fishy. That guy's cool. He's going into the craft lot. 
And then we got this ring from Forever 21. Came, coming in at $4.80. See, I don't see how they're saying that this is an eight. It's probably a seven because it's so wide that you wanna make sure you're not gonna cut off circulation to your fingers. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, I would say seven, maybe even six and three fourths to be safe. So we will do that one. It's number 20 for four bucks, four dollars. All right, let's grab some more. have another two handfuls and we're going to finish the video. Here's another um, piece I'm going to put into craft. Same with this one because I had these in the last video and nobody bought them so we'll put those in craft. Same with this one. And this. Okay, we have a, oh, that does not hold good at all, so that'll go into craft. Okay, this one looks good. Oops, oh, I thought I, I thought I broke something. This one looks pretty good. Um, it's got the, like a peach, pinky peach enamel flowers size. I would go with five and a quarter on that. Really cute cocktail ring um, do that for three dollars three bucks <sighs> look is this another piece I'll include it with the belt this I already see is very worn so that'll go into craft Ooh, there's a lot of bangles here. Okay, so let me kind of pull stuff that's going to go into craft. This is a Monet. However, it's very, very worn. The gold tone's almost completely gone on most parts of this. So that will go into craft. Another one of these is going to go into craft. We're probably going to close up that craft lot soon. This is going to go into craft. There's really no stretch left to it. Um, anything else that, that can go into craft? Yes. This, for sure, because it is really worn, both of these. All right, so this is... I can get it to close right this second, but I will. And this one will be number two, craft lot number two, for five dollars. Okay. We have another wide band ring. This one's really pretty too. Very small. This is, I would say it's gonna be about a four and a half. Size four and a half, but it's in good shape. And we'll do that for four dollars. Four dollars, size four and a half. It's really pretty. All right, we have a watch. Casaris. This is pretty. I love all the hearts. And you got the rhinestones, the mother of pearl face. So I will attempt to change the battery and see if I can get it working and I will leave a price on the screen for you. All right, here's another one of these from last time. I think this was what, um, I think the other one had a Greek key design, right? Well, this is similar. Looks like it had a $27.99 price tag, stainless steel. Open up on this side, very pretty. Again, just needs to be wiped down. 
This one's coming in at six and a half. Six and a half, very pretty. Number 23. Um, we will do that for $5. $5, number 23. All right, then I see this really cool piece. This is a, a necklace. I don't see any markings, but it's got this cool lock on it. Probably just needs to be wiped down. Very neat. The chain itself is lightweight, but the lock has a little bit of weight to it. So it is a total of 18 inches, but if you wanted to make it shorter, you can clasp it, you know, anywhere along here. So we'll roll with that. Number 24. And we will do that for $5. All right. This has a lot of wear, a lot of gold tone loss. So let's get the last craft lot baggy ready. Put that in there. This is pretty. Gold tone with some diamond cuts. It's probably, it's probably brass. Yeah. Um, this one's coming in at eight inches. Oops. Beautiful. Number 25. We'll do that one for four. Four dollars, number 25. Great, great piece for stacking. All right, I'm guessing this is another, yeah, stainless steel piece. Again, $28.99. Who's paying $28.99? Not me. Um, let me see if I can get that off before I try to sell it to anybody. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh yeah, that's coming out beautiful. All right, gorgeous. Okay, so we got the closure on this side. It is a size six and three fourths. Gorgeous. Number 26. We're gonna do that for five. Five dollars, number 26. All right, this has a lot of wear. So that'll go into craft. We got a little two for bangle set. These are nice. I don't see any, oh, this one looks like it might be, got a little bend in it, but otherwise they look good. Eight inches. And eight and a half inches, so great little stack right here, gold tone. Number 27, five bucks. All right, we have this ring. This is pretty. Wow. All the stones are there. Talk about a ring for New Year's Eve, right? You got the the ball drop right on your finger. <laughs> this one, it's in good shape. I would say it's about a six. Number 28. Um, we'll do four bucks. Four bucks. Number 28. All right, let me just switch out my bin. And we'll keep it moving. Here's another one. This is a stretchy. Oh, did, did that literally just fall right out? 
Wait, no, that's not a part of this. That was weird. Is it? No. They're rhinestones. Yeah, it looks like it's in good shape. I mean, the this is kind of like grody, but I think the ring is in good shape. Without having to stretch it, it sits at about a six, so I would say maybe six to a seven. I can get that hair out. Got it. Okay. So we'll do this one. What does it say on the tag? Four eighty. We'll do it for three bucks. Pretty cool. Oh, number 29. Sorry. All right, this we're going to put into craft. This is cool. Look at this big acrylic piece. Wow, a small size though. Let's see. Eek, I can't even fit it on my pinky, but that's that's really cool. Look at that. It's in good shape. It looks like something Sugar Fix or Bobble, Bobble Bar would make. I would say four and three fourths on this one. Really cool though. Number 30. And let's do that for four bucks. All right, this ring looks pretty. Look at this. This almost looks like it could be gold, but I don't think so. No, it's got wear on it. But it's very pretty. Let's turn on Pressy and see what she says. I don't see any markings, but this is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, no, it's a red, it's the copper. So I just wanted to make sure, but that's really pretty. It definitely needs to be cleaned up a little bit better, but let's see if it's glass or what. Yeah, okay, good, good, very pretty. Coming in at an eight and a quarter, a little bit of wear on the back but otherwise gorgeous. This is like a peach color. Peach with the clear around the outside. Gorgeous. Number 31. And let's do that for six bucks. Six dollars, number 31. All right, let's see if we can get the last of this out here. All right, that's everything. Made a complete mess though. All right, let's get this out of here. This will go into craft. Just make sure you put that in craft. That will go in craft. This I'm just actually gonna throw right in the garbage because I don't know what that is, but that's kind of disgusting. <sighs> you guys, I don't see the, the other tiger earring. <laughs> Boo. That is gonna go right in the trash. It's got all green all over it. That one also, and this one. Um, this is going to go into the craft lot. Mm, this is kind of cool. Look at the stone inside there. Well, that's neat. A yellow stone. It's, I think it's just acrylic, but still, it's pretty cool. Five and a quarter. It's pretty neat. We'll do that one. And we'll just do that for three bucks. Three doll hairs, number 32. 
I think I'm just going to actually throw this placemat out after this video because it's kind of dirty. Kind of yuck. This is pretty. This is really nice. Again, just needs to be wiped down, but it's in good shape. It's got a nice clamp to it. It's coming in at uh, six and a half inches. Really pretty. Um, it's going to be number 33 for four dollars, four bucks. Okay, that one's cool. What? I like this. Gold tone, you got like the horse bit kind of design here. Oh man, there is missing a stone. Boo. Oh, there's a lot of wear too on the sides here actually. All right, well that'll go into craft. That stinks, that, was, that would've been a nice one. Ooh, this one's cool too, with all the roses. Huh. No maker mark again though, but really, really nice. It's got a nice weight to it. It comes in at eight inches. It's got, some of the roses have very light discoloration, like gold tone loss, but not terrible. So number 34, and we'll do that one for just three, just three bucks. There's another one. Actually, we're gonna throw that right in the garbage. That's not good. Craft, craft. You always want to check these just in case for gold. Craft. Wow, this is a lot of discoloration. So that's craft. Oh, look at this little bunny ring. How cute. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I don't see any missing stones. Yay. No maker mark, but super cute. Adorable. Size five and three fourths. Number 35. And we'll do that one for five. Okay. This one is very, very worn, so that'll go into craft, as well as this one. Missing a stone. And what is this stuff? This is an earring with a missing stone. Ooh, that's a little bee. But there's only one, so that'll go into the craft lot. This will go in the craft lot. I think maybe the lady that this jewelry came from had gray hair, because this is all gray and red hair. <laughs> um, here's another one of these. I'm, I'm just going to put this one in craft. And then we have this one, which is a single, because I don't see it on the screen. Uh, so that'll go into craft also. This one we don't have a mate for, because these are the others that we were waiting on. So all these will go into craft. And it looks like the last piece is this. We had one like this last week too. Gold tone with the black enamel clamper, very good condition. Seven inches on this one. <clears throat> and we'll do that for five bucks, number 36. All right, you guys, I don't know where the other one to this is, but that really stinks. Um, I don't know if somebody wants to make it into a pendant or what, but I'll sell it um, and I'll just do $2 on it. Maybe somebody can upcycle him into something that somebody could wear. All right, you guys, so let's get this other craft lot up here. This is number three. This one has less in it. It's only about half full. 
So I'll only do this one for $4, okay? So number three for $4. All right, and that wraps up the 14 pound jewelry lot. <laughs> Um, so thank you guys for watching and here are the ordering instructions once again. Um, so let me know if you would like to purchase anything. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe right down here. It's free. Thanks again. And I'll see you in the next one.